Hi everyone, I'm Julian, the programmer and game designer on Firegirl Hack and Splash Rescue. And as always, I am joined by... Hi, I'm Gabe Miller. I'm the artist, animator, and writer for Firegirl Hack and Splash Rescue. Good to be here. Hey! Oh, oh, right oh I rescued that guy. He's got a little ducky. Nice. <laughs> so what are we doing, talking about today, Gabe? Uh, we're going to talk about fans, we're going to talk about uh, various mechanics in the game that uh, help you to, uh, you know, give you some help. You can't do it all by yourself, right? Yeah. And so you got fans down there, they're helping you out, right? Yeah, so now that I've rescued all the survivors in this level, we, we started right in the middle of the action here. Um, I gotta find an exit, and if I successfully Ooh. find an exit, safely uh, find an exit, I should say, um, then yeah. <laughs> we'll get crazy donations from the fans. Oh, Whoa. is that guy gonna help you? I don't know. He's trying to sell me water uh, in the middle of. Uh... Hey, but... why doesn't he just help? Okay, I'll buy it. I was out of water. Huh. Weird. What choice do you have? Highway yeah. robbery, this guy. Shady characters in this game, I don't know. <laughs> but so, you no. needed it. Ooh. I need to find an exit. Before time runs out. Wow. As you can see, fire gets pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, run, go when faster, time... go faster. Don't stop. Was low, but I can extinguish monsters to get more time. Ah, uh, okay, that's a good point. It should be fine. I have a bit more than a minute. Damn bad. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, they still have health. Okay. Yeah, big flames okay. everywhere. Oh. It's burning still. Oh no! Whoa! Got the Let's get out of here. <laughs> bad boys coming up behind you. Uh, Why didn't you stop to, to extinguish them all the time? And because I think I should just find an exit and get out of here before okay, okay. I die in a stupid way. Gotta pick your battles, huh? Yep. And also, I don't have any more survivors to rescue in this building, mm. so. Oh, there's as a this chief just said, I should just get out of here. <laughs> Okay. Hey, there's a green arrow. That's that's an, an exit. exit. Okay, cool. So there you go. You rescued everybody. That means it's a successful mission. Yeah. As it and so says you're gonna get right there. The city hall fund, but well, look at that fan donation bonus. Yeah. That's huge. So that's really how you get a lot of fund for your fire brigade, and how you can buy new stuff but also mm. recruit more people so we're gonna be looking at everything that's in this firehouse in this uh in today's video okay. this is the firehouse this is the entrance um we can start by yeah that weird oh, store ahead, across the street maybe yeah but i think we talked about it in the last video but yeah there's this cool store over here where they have all the uh the different uh they have different things that you can buy for upgrades. And you can see it's got kind of an outdoorsy, woodsy look to it. And uh, the idea is that this guy, he saw that the, the firehouse was opening up again and he quickly bought the the store across the street and turned it into a, a firefighter store to try and make money off of all the firefighters who need equipment to, to do the firefighting. Yeah. I yeah, can see that so he's he... creepy. <laughs> That's mostly yeah, he's what really most trying to sell. People are seeing right now, I think. But so really quickly, he took his hiking store and he turned it into a. He just re, you know put hats everywhere and turned it into a firefighter store to try and trick people. No, uh oh, look at this beauty. Whoa, thirty thousand for a light axe. Yeah, but nice. I'm gonna buy it. So those okay. are kind of the upgrades you can get. So this is a way faster axe. Whoa, that allows you to cool. keep running while you destroy like rubble or wreck through doors. It's super useful. What's the jump attack like? Show us that. 
Yeah, all the drum attack also allows you to like. Yeah, you're Just... much faster with it. I, I, it's one of my favorite upgrades in the whole game. Um, wow, it, it's kind of like Ninja Gaiden or something now. Totally. Like a... <laughs> it's totally yeah. Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, old Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> NES yes. Ninja Gaiden. Yes. <laughs> or even like uh, Castlevania a little bit. Uh, okay. Another thing... Who's this guy? We can do is recruit new firefighters. So in the previous mission, I rescued that guy uh, from the flames. And now... Uh, is available for recruit this Jean-Jacques, so probably French um, chef. I think only you can say that name again. Say it again. Jean-Jacques. <laughs> oh, wow. It sounds good when you say it, that's all. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's hire him and let's see okay. what he's what getting. What's a, what's a chef going to do for a firefighter? I mean, come on. How so, can he help? Look at how nice the firehouse oh, okay. kitchen is now. That yeah, steak nice. and uh, I, I think those are asparagus in asparagi yeah. asparagus. <laughs> asparagus, yeah. I think and so now he has an upgrade for us. And oh, what an upgrade that. that is! The best of all. Yeah, we're we're getting all the better best upgrades in the game right now, <laughs> just to show you like. So one more heart. So yeah, it gets pricey, of course. Um, yeah, and that's why you got to get those fan bonuses. You got to exactly. really try to get, as you go on in the game, you really have to try and get uh, everybody. Try to rescue everybody. It's not going to kill you if you don't rescue everybody every time, but you really got to try and get that because that's how you get those big bonuses. And then you can you can get more fans and you can get more, uh, more of these big yeah. upgrades. So here's Looper. Um, she's our PR expert. And uh, that I recruited uh, previously in the save, and so she can boost those fan donations or help mm. us get more fans uh, as we rescue cats or survivors. We also previously recruited Kareem, our nurse, um, and uh, we get we spend um, less money when we get injured in mission and. The very useful first aid training uh, that makes it that the med kit that I have um, mm. uh, at the top left of my HUD here that restores hearts restores more hearts. Um, this and that's also... really helpful, obviously, yeah. because you can get the shields, those little shields up there. Those are useful, but mm -hmm. you can't replenish those, right? Yeah. Like in the mission. Yeah, that's the difference between a shield and a heart, exactly. Yeah. Uh, this is Maria. This is the first recruit you get. Um, uh, it's like a weapons cage that she's in there. Yeah, and she's like there to upgrade uh, for hose upgrades. So this very expensive auto refill or um, larger water tank or um, higher pressure. Let's get a pressure yeah, upgrade. Yeah, that's my favorite. I always max that out because. So yeah, now we can fly even better yeah. yeah i'm getting you can kind of the, hover like a little yeah. helicopter yeah and i'm getting the really hover mode lot. right now <laughs> yeah and uh and you shoot farther uh further mm -hmm. um and yeah there are still areas of the firehouse that are like mm, with cardboards and stuff so there's more room to hire oh, wow. more people maybe you'll see more oh wow yeah you around. don't have that yet yep Oh, what about, are we going to get into this here, these medals? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have an in-game achievement system. Uh, that's uh, when you, you can see award conditions at the bottom right here of the screen. Mm. And uh, when you fulfill those conditions, you unlock medals that you can equip on your character. So your character can equip a small one, a middle one, and a big one. And the big ones oh, wow. have the biggest bonus. Did you just, did you just get that? You just yeah. got that bonus uh, in the last mission. I think I did. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, let's go with um, that one. So every time I rescue a survivor, I'm going to regain a little bit of health. Mm. Uh, that one, that one, I'm getting more popular every time I break a door. Or rubble, I really love that one. Um, and yeah, getting also a little bit more popular for each animal rescued. Let's go with that 
loadouts. I guess you can pick like uh, exactly what way that mm -hmm. you want to play because yeah. you can say like, well, I want to get more health because maybe I keep getting hit. Yeah, and so exactly. I like having one that gives me some health. I like the one that helps me save water. Uh, and then I just max out my fan bonuses with Lupe instead of uh, yeah. using a metal. Yeah. And and we try to design those with the syn synergy in mind. That's like mm. some of them, if you combine them, the bonus gets really, really interesting. Um, mm. Yeah, I hope people have fun uh, unlocking those and, and playing around with different loadouts. All right. So now we got into another level just to see like how much our upgrades are helpful. Well have we, we haven't shown this one yet very much. No, that's true. Now this the, is the range train level of the hose is helping a lot in that level in yeah. particular. Yeah, and I think being able to like hover in, there's a couple of odd angles where being able to fly kind of sideways helps a lot. Yeah. By having the hose pressure. Well, what kind of train is this? So we should tell that guy to stop driving. <laughs> <laughs> I think the driver's gone. Oh man, out of control train. Story of my life. <laughs> Whoa. Oh wow, yeah, you can really fly over the level yeah. in some places. But so, you run out of water if you do it too much. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm already out of water. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, I've been trigger happy. <laughs> A little too trigger happy. But yeah, for all those um, later levels, getting all those holes upgrades are really, really important. Um, we tried to design the game to make sure that you can still finish the game without upgrading anything but it's really really hard um yeah and it's just so much fun when you like unlock some of these especially like the powerful hose and like more hose capacity and you can just rock it around the levels and it really starts to make you feel like you're playing like a flying game almost it's yep so much fun get there <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I, there's a technique to playing this, like to the hose jump. It doesn't work exactly how you think it's going to, but once you get the hang of this technique, it's so cool because you feel like you've really mastered something. Yeah. Yeah, because the the the, con the, the pressure is analog, so you can really feather it. Will you look at that? Whoa. Oh. oh. Okay. Saved the day. Very yeah. nice. So yeah, another successful mission. So another big. Let's see payday. the bonus. Oh, 28. Nice. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, you get a lot there. Upgraded that fun donation. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, that train level, like uh, you make it look easy, but it took me a while before I could actually ah, get yeah. to the end of the train mission. It's, it's a very it's kind of challenging mission if you fall yeah. down. It's over. But yeah, that's. That's more or less just it for the main gameplay loop. Um, on top of that, there are like special events that happen. There's more stuff hidden everywhere in the game, but like the loop of getting into a mission, um, getting rewarded for performing well, then coming back here, upgrading your stuff. Uh, I'll probably get some of those fun donations. Oh, you're gonna be making money now. Yeah. yeah. I think I need those. Um, and getting enough of those to be able to buy the very, very expensive ones. And some of them <laughs> that are even hidden somewhere in, on uh. that map. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, but that's going to be it for now. Uh, I think we'll probably be doing more of these um, dev commentary videos in the future. I don't know what will, will be the next topic, but we'll keep you updated stay tuned and uh thanks for watching see you later